TFNN. Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials finished up. 45, NASDAQ down 52, S&P's off uh, 4. Bottom line, folks, you had some uh, nice high volatility out here uh, today. Uh, when you take a look at the Dow Industrials, uh, bottom line is that that not only made it back, made it back uh, pretty well. Uh, we went down to a price point out here of uh, 26000 223, and then you closed out at 26,491. So that's, uh, you're talking about uh, 250 points off the low the Dow Industrials closed. NASDAQ composite, different animal. Bottom line, you get inside the NDX 100, as well as the composite in general, you get big sellers out here. They all want to get out of the market at the same time. Doors never big enough for that. Uh, bottom line with the composite, uh, we are at a price point now, down 52 bucks. You're at 77.35, and that brought us inside the lower range. So the composite, you have gained down to 7,400 right now. Um, we got down to uh, 70. 654 and bottom line came back 75 points off of that still being down 52. if we take a look at the ndx 100 you're going to see that's the same type of damage inside the ndx 100. if we use the three q's you got down to uh, 176 came back three points nice comeback but guess what not enough because you're going into the swing point uh from 174. uh we got to 176 uh, you've done 63 million shares. Bottom line, that swing point only has 60 million. That's building cause to get into that. I suspect we're going to be down somewhere into this 169. The uh, Russell 2000 got saved by the 200-day moving average again. That being said, bottom line is that uh, we'll see how this shakes out tomorrow because what we do have is that you're going to have a full trading block tomorrow. Uh, you have Columbus Day out here today. The banks are closed. Post office are closed. Federal holiday. Uh, inside the IWM, that got saved the second day in a row, right at the 200. Bottom line, a rejected uh, price at that 200. And what's so intriguing here, and this is why I want to watch this so closely, is that when you take a look at the last three years, folks, um, the small cap's the only one that basically has challenged this uh, three or four times in the last uh, three years. Um, you know, but it hasn't broken. Uh, each and every time buying that dip has been rewarded. We'll see whether that is the case coming up. Dow Industrials finished up 40, NASDAQ down 52, S&P's off 2.5. Stay right there, folks. Lots of numbers coming, coming out after the close.